Before this playthrough begins, if you, for some reason, want to play this game, uh, check the video description below and there will be a link to the advertisement video with instructions on where you can download it. I hope you enjoy, because I don't enjoy this game. Oh, well, you see, what I figured I would do is finally get around to recording a playthrough of the original Virus Bloke. Why has it taken so long? Because it's a crap game, but oh well. Completion in my, um, my recordings, please. Yeah, so here we blimming go, don't we? Hopefully you can't hear any blowing on the microphone. I just checked the footage, but I've got the fan on. It's too hot. That is obnoxious. Look at the amazing graphics of the intro. These are Pysoft represents. A game over RPG Make 2000 translated. Thanks, Don Miguel. Yeah, this is way before. Poor Smart the Forest Book. This is way before RPG Maker 2000 was out, like, properly. Now it is out properly on Steam. Yum. <laughs> Random boxes around the planet, because there's crap. There's only one little village in the whole of England. And uh, this is that village. Ah. The planets are aligned. Why is my... Why is there a lump on the back of my head and on the back of my back? I don't know. The planets are aligned. It's the time I've been waiting for. This is the time when I... Oh, go out and put viruses into computers around the world! Mwahaha! <laughs> I love it! Whatever. I better get going. Huh? Oi! Stop remembering me! Other Paul? Wait, what? Wait, who am I talking to? Oh well, let's just get on with this game. Wait, and then it changed to normal pool. Whatever. That's something I would have to change when I remake this game. Hello, Paul. Here's a yummy old refill of health. <coughs> Game's too loud. Game's too loud. Stop it. Oh god. Game's too loud. Oh god. Oh god. Let's go. I reckon I should phone Ewan and Mark. Yep, they were in this one too. Yep, I think I'll phone Ewan. I mean, yeah. Phone! Look at the quality of this game. Hello? Compared to Virus Bloke 2. Hello. Um, hi. I'm gonna go out and put a load of viruses into computers around the world. You wanna come and help? Alright then. I'll be there in a minute. Now I'll phone Mark. Random tilted face. Hello? Hello. Hello. Who is this? It's Paul. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go out and put a little... You wanna come and help? But we'll get in trouble, won't we? What? Me? Get in trouble? <laughs> I never get in trouble. Okay, I guess I'll be there in a minute. There's nobody else to phone. Now, don't go too far to the right. Get this. Oh, cool. What's this? Oh, yes. I don't need a paper sword anymore. I've got a cardboard one now. You can hear my talking on the microphone like... <laughs> something. Ah. Who would have guessed that such such a big increase would come just from cardboard? <coughs> what was that? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. By the feckin' enemy. I guess I can turn it down a bit. God, it's so horrible. Yeah, so um, now that I've leveled up, I've got a ton of health. I don't know what the point was with this design choice. If you don't equip the cardboard sword, you can't beat that enemy and you die in one hit because you had one HP. What a crap game. What 
is this supposed to be? It's old Hag Hagatha's cave. King's Quest reference. She smells. Hello? You can't even go back. <coughs> Who's there? Eek, it's Hagatha. Oh, a visitor! Um, yeah. I was just leaving. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! This will be fun! It's strange that an old hag has the face of a young girl. <coughs> what? <coughs> the feckin' enemy. What is this music? This isn't a boss battle music. It's loud. Whoop. That's better. Just in time. Oh, it looks like I, just, I got it just in time. Me too. Right, we're gonna kill you now, you old hag. How nice. Oh, yeah, I wasn't supposed to use virus input yet. Looks like I might have got all my MP back anyway, though. Oh, it costs zero in this game, never mind. <laughs> God. Uh, fire, I think. I don't remember. What is the point of me having MP if virus input costs zero? Hell. What's. What's the point of me having a sword? You wouldn't want to use anything else. Let's find out. Oh yeah, ice does more. Yeah, yeah, there's just no point. She collapses. 150 GP GP. I don't know why it says fatty. Wind has been learned. And Earth. <laughs> You're dead, you prat. Oh yeah. I'll just hide in the shadows then. What? She turned into a shadow. <laughs> Why is this nonsense? What's this place? What? And by standing on the shadow that she turned into, we get teleported to this place. Oh yeah, we're here. Let's just choose a turtle. Cheesy grin. No explanation. None at all. We're here. Where? Where are we? Why are there 3D beds and chairs? And carpets? I don't fucking know. Because this was back when I didn't make good games. I reckon we should go to the present-ish first. I reckon we should go to the past first. Should we go to the past? Yeah. Oh no, dinosaurs live there. They smell. How do you know? Have you smelt one's butt? Oh. 20,000 BC. 65 million BC. Chrono Trigger reference. Oh, what? What order are they in? Oh. Off we go then. I think, yeah, Chrono Trigger was a large pretty much the main reason I made this game the way it is, travelling through time, because I was like obsessed with that game back then. Oh no, you can't go down. You can if you step there though. Why? Dunno. Why are there a bunch of rocks here? To funnel you onto the trigger point. Something smells. <coughs> Enough of the old dear. Dinosaur tries to start something. I think it's ice because the ice age. Yeah. Oh, I see. Dinosaurs are weak, apparently. Phew, we beat it. What's that? Oh, not again. What? Why do they fart? There's no point. Yeah, there is. We've beaten two dinosaurs. We are so skilled today. 
Oh, for beep's sake! What an exciting game. We haven't even gotten to the best parts yet. You just wait. Yeah, just moving the microphone a bit, it's probably still too loud. I guess I better check. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 